Hi, it's Karen. I apologize for the shadows. It's a cloudy day here today. Today, I wanted to do a flip through of a journal that I did for uh, Paper Terrace Dollar Tree Junk Journal Challenge. And she challenged us to do, use $20 worth of Dollar Tree things and make a journal. And I had already been collecting... Uh, I'll put that over here. Hopefully you can... Yeah, you can still see that. I have been collecting things to make this peach and teal journal um, for a while. So I had a lot of things already collected. Um, and then, of course, I had to add a few more as I went. But I think I stayed around the $20, um, which is about 16 items since they're $1.25. And, yeah, I'll go ahead and get started. So... One thing I got is a pack of three of these, or I had them already, and I just used one to put it around the journal because it's a really big alligator mouth. Um, these are some paper napkins that I just found at Dollar Tree this week. Um, I just glued it onto um, coffee dyed paper, and I'll go ahead and get started. Or, I glued it down and then cut it down. So I wanted to go through the 12 or 16 things that I had. So the fabric here is one thing, is the one thing that I had. I also had this note card. I actually had two note cards and I just used one from the pack, from each pack. So I figured that counts as one thing. And then the paper in the journals, I did supplement with some of my own, but I used um, this kind of school paper that you can get at Dollar Tree. This one had a, was faded from the sun and I loved that so that's why I bought that there. Um, and then also I love their sketch pads. Um, I don't necessarily like this version because it doesn't tear as well. I like the one where you tore it from the top better but I used some pages out of this. And it's like four pages is all I used or six. Um, and then this is grid paper. I think I got it at Dollar Tree. I may have gotten it at Dollar General. But again, I just used one sheet and three signatures. So I figured that all fits in the dollar part of it. And then I did use four sheets of this paper. So there's that. I used that for the inside of the journal. And then I also supplemented with some other papers that I had. Um, this ball trim I found at Dollar Tree. The doily I found at Dollar Tree. Um, and then I got one of those big paper packs that has all these different kinds of papers. I've unpacked it and put it in a zip, zippy bag. I had a couple of them and I used... Um, I, the colors didn't match from the whole paper pack into this journal. So I only used like three or four of the kinds of paper from each pack. So that made one pack. Um, and then I had purchased some rub-ons. I thought I could easily find them, but I could not. I don't know where they are. I'll show you as I find them. Um, and then there was a big glitter card that I fell in love with. I'll sh point it out on the way through. And then I had a book that was a dot notepad from there that I used. And then I bought two different Easter cards that I used. I bought a love book that I used, and then the napkins. These are the two napkins that I used a little bit of. Not even a full napkin, just like that much of each of them. So there's that. And then um, I use a stick on butterfly. And I'll point out the Dollar Tree things as I flip through this. And for the rest of the decorations and such, these were two pieces, or these three things were actually scrap bits that I got from Bible Journal in class with my friend. Um, and then I think I had two pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock that I used in this journal. Um, in the... In the um, signatures, I used three sheets of colored paper that I had and two sheets of music. And then I had a lot of different kinds of scraps that I used. So I feel like I did a really good job of staying within the $20 for Dollar Tree because I use all their papers 
usually in my journals. So I already had those on hand, so I didn't really have to go buy those. So that was that. So without further ado, here is my Paper Terrace DT JJ, the $20 dollar, $20 Dollar Tree Junk Journal Challenge. All right. So I made a little pocket here up front and I put in one of the note cards that I picked up from Dollar Tree and I did add the envelope just because it's always fun to store extra little goodies in there. This was a paper from the paper pack that I got. It had little bits of paper mixed in. It was kind of cute. I added a little pocket down here. I had put a rub on here and I didn't like it. So mistakes are just opportunities, right? So I just covered it up with this pocket. That's fine. Um, this was a little... Um, this I made at my friend's uh, house. And then I added a little stamp that said handle with care. And then I just have this little baby journaling card that I can tuck in here. This is vintage notepad that I had from my mom's house. Here's that kids paper. The notebook paper. Here's some of the sketch pad. Here's that dot notebook paper I was talking about. I also had coffee dyed paper from there. Um, this is that paper that I was describing. It has bits of paper in the paper. I thought that was kind of a cool little accent to add here. This is from Dollar Tree. This is just a scrap that I had. Um, this is also from Dollar Tree and these are the rub-ons that I had picked up. Here's that music paper. Um, I also used photos from a book. Um, this is just a scrap of paper that I had from something else. So is this. This paper I did use is one of the 12 by 12 sheets I used. And I need to fix this pocket. Alright, we'll just leave that there. I'll stick that in there so I don't forget. So here's notebook sketchbook, coffee dyed, oh, ledger paper I added, um, just some white paper that I had. This is that glitter card that I was talking about. I actually cut it in half so that I could put it in a pocket. This is the other 12 by 12 paper that I used. Um, just some old book page. This was a tag that I had picked up. Behind it is a paper scrap and then I used some lace and just put that little round dot of scrap there. Here's some more grid paper, coffee dyed, that one, the kids one. And this is all still my first signature. And then I made this, this is a sticker I picked up from somewhere. This is also from a book that I had. Um, and then I made a little tuck on the, on the paper that I got from Dollar Tree. And then I liked the smiles in the middle. And then back here, this is paper from Dollar Tree. This is a scrap. And then this is from a book. And I just backed it with some book paper so you can write on it. So this, I had fun putting the signatures together. And I had fun when I started decorating. But I kind of hit a roadblock. Um, these aren't my colors. And I was feeling really restricted by the products that I had um, to like embellish and do things here. So um, it's pretty simple, but I like it. This is another, another um, book picture that I scavenged. This is a rub-on that I added. And here, um, I had done a rub-on under it and I just didn't like how it felt. So I just put this strip here. I'm not sure if I'll add anything else or just leave it like it is. Another piece of ledger paper. This is more Dollar Tree paper. This is scraps and this is Dollar Tree paper. Um, I inked this with fudge. Come back, little lid. Come back. Sorry if you could see my head. I got my hair up. 
um, because I'm lazy today. Saltwater taffy. That's what it is. I was going to say flamingo and that wasn't right. I just pounced that on the paper and then I sprayed it with water just to see what would happen. Um, and then this is a little dolly band. More coffee dyed paper, more bot journal paper. This is the 12 by 12 paper that I used. Um, this is more Dollar Tree paper and then this is a scrap that I had. This is also a scrap that I had. I thought I could still journal on it. This vintage note paper. Note paper. It was like a pad of paper that you write letters on. That's what it was from. So this is actually, I was only going to have two um, signatures in this, and this is what a signature is. It's the group of papers that you um, group together to stitch into your journal. Um, but then I had this big gap, so then I quickly put together this next, this middle um, signature. I use different grid paper here. I just realized that. That is funny. Uh, we're not going to look at this because it's crooked. This is from the paper pack scrap that I had. I just used a rub on um, scrap that I had and more scrap. And I think a big part of my struggle was I had a lot of um, flowers that were like modern like this. And then I was throwing in these vintage scrap papers that I had, and that is a struggle for me, and it's something that I'm trying to learn and grow through. Because there's nothing that says you can't have vintage and modern together. Because, I mean, look at our houses. Sometimes we have vintage and modern together. Yeah. I'm silly. So there's that. I really like how this turned out. This is another paper that I did some stamping of the saltwater taffy and then this is a scrap that I had and I used that little stamp in the middle paper from Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree and then scrap I like how that one turned out some more paper and then here's a side tuck just did a little collage with from my scrap basket and here's a tag from the other 12 by 12 paper that I used and I just put that scrap on there just to, because it needed something. Here's one of the stickers from Dollar Tree that I used. I don't think I showed you guys that sticker pad, but Dollar Tree paper. I think this was Dollar Tree, and this was just a scrap. All things are possible if you believe. I like that and believe that. Here's the middle of that signature. I like how my coffee dye shows my the grid of my cookie rack. This um yeah. This is a paper from that 12 by 12 paper pad. I put a little coffee dyed strip here and then this I cut out from uh, a book that I got at Dollar Tree. It, or something about Valentine's Day. This was an Easter card that I cut down and I just liked how all the flowers kind of work together and I did ink this up really good with the saltwater taffy. I didn't want the white to show through as much for some reason but it looks really pink down here and it looks really peach up there. It's funny how that works. So I like that one. Here's just a little tuck um, this is Dollar Tree paper. This is a scrap. There's that white butterfly that I was talking about. This is the back of that glitter card that I showed you. And then I was writing here, so I just covered it up with the butterfly napkin that I had made. I like how simple that is. This is, um, it's a Tim Holtz stamp set that I had. Um, I couldn't find my Dollar Tree stamps. But I wanted to have some stamp images in here. Here's another little tuck. Um, another rub-on on Dollar Tree paper. This is scrap. 
I like how that turned out. The dot paper. Here's another. I tried something down here to cover up the back of the card. This is the card. Yeah, the, anyway. It didn't work out, so I just covered it with um, coffee dyed paper. And then you can see I got a little glue smear, or not glue, paint smear on there. Yes, I was trying to paint for this journal. It didn't work out, but that's okay. Dollar Tree cardstock, another scrap that I had. I thought that was cute on there. And this is what I struggled with, not having like a modern with this, but I got over it. And I didn't stitch my signatures in very well. This one should have been a little bit farther this way, but it's okay. I had put the washi tape down earlier and it covers up the cardstock. The cover is a brownie mix box that I just covered with fabric and then I glued paper on the inside. Here's that colored paper that I added. Here is a little image that I had gotten from a book and then I just took one of my strips of leftover coffee dyed paper and stuck it in here to not there's not enough journaling space but I felt like this pocket just needed a little something so we added that in there apologies for all my reaches and stuff I just that's how I work I guess and I'm half tempted to pull this page out because it's wonky, but I'm going to leave it. This just happened because I didn't check my pages before I, I stuck my journal or stitched my signature in. So this page wasn't set right. So it's a little wonky, but we're going to live with it. Oh, funny. My little stamp got over there. Here's that glitter card that I cut in half. I really like that card. I couldn't find it again. That made me sad. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Or that 12 by 12 sheet that I used. A couple more pages. Another image. Dollar trees. The 12 by 12 and scrap. This is a big honking journal. Now that I flip through it, and I did count all of my tucks and pockets and everything and make sure that I had the same number in the front and back of each signature and also, I believe, I have eight in all the signatures, but I'm not 100%. There may only be six in the middle one. This is another belly band I did. Just a piece of cardstock, scrap paper, scrap paper, and then I added this. So there's two. This is a belly band, and then this is a belly band. Just wondering. I can't go back and glue it, so there's no sense in doing that. Alright, there we go. And then this middle is fascination. Another letter paper. This I struggled with too. And when I put the hello on there, I knew I had to put my little hello note card. Um, it is trimmed down quite a bit because I was trying to make it fit in the journal like this. And I couldn't, I didn't like where it was. And then when I stuck it in here, I loved it. So if anybody's interested in this journal, let me know. It's not one that I. I'm feeling the urge to keep. Another just journal card. I probably should have used heavier paper, but I think it'll be fine to write on. I decided to leave this blank. Um, whoever gets the journal can always glue an image or whatever they want there. Um, and then here's another um, belly band that I did with a scrap of paper. And then I had fun designing this. I tried to put the butterflies just on the flowers and it wasn't working. So 
scrap of paper. This is the other half of that um, tag that I used. Old book page that I had. These are cutouts from the napkin. And then I had this cut out from the napkin too. And I had already inked it up and I decided I had to use it. So when he's in place, you can't see that he's missing a wing. But he's missing a wing. I'm sorry. That's just how the, the napkin folded. Another piece of paper from the Dollar Tree bundle. And then it's kind of wobbly, so I just put this envelope in here too to give it a few more things to make it hopefully not fall out. And then this was another card that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I was sad. I had to trim off quite a bit of this to put in here. That made me really sad. But it's a good journaling spot. And then this is just a short little stubby tag that I also covered with napkin. The brown was just blah for me. So I just do that. Scraps. This is cut off from the grid paper that I put in the one signature. And then the 12 by 12 paper. And then we get to the back. This is from a Dollar Tree bag that I cut up for a different journal that I was... And originally going to use for this challenge until I realized the cover was basically not Dollar Tree so I switched over and had enough to make this one so there's that and then this is just that note card that I had from the a journal card that I had from the 12 by 12 paper um, this is vintage ribbon that I had and then this is it's like that wide of it's this except for it's missing like three it's double this width I think I just cut that off and then glued that down and they're flat on the back it's with their trims they have a lot of metallic ones but every once in a while you can find a little pearl so I just use a little bit of that to accent that and then there is the back and then on the spine to cover up my signature strings and to stabilize them a little bit, I did have some hem lace. Um, I picked up in a vintage haul, I think, or I found it in my mom's box. I just glued that on to cover up the, the spine, and then I liked how this kind of was over the edge, so it flipped up a little bit because I can't center things very well, so... Here is this lovely journal, and like I said, if you're interested in it, shoot me a message, and I will let you know more about it. Again, this was for the $20 Dollar Tree Drunk Journal Challenge. The hashtag is PaperTerraceDTJJ. There's a lot of videos out there explaining how they did things. Um, this particular journal was a struggle for me. And I didn't feel like I should film that on camera because I felt very hemming and hawing and you guys don't need to see that. So I hope you have a great day and a great week and happy crafting. Bye.